Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a full face using some of my current favorite drugstore makeup products. So I've been testing out so much new makeup within the past couple of weeks, but a lot of drugstore and affordable makeup. You guys know that is my makeup of choice, so anytime I have new favorites, I always like to update you guys, especially when the products are affordable. We have some really good stuff. I have a new amazing foundation and primer combo, a new lip combo that I'm loving, lashes, highlighter, a little bit of everything. And I also wanna thank Ilor London for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have been watching my videos for a few years now, you know that I love Ilora London's lashes. I've literally been using them for five, six years at this point, and so I'm so grateful to be working with them today. I literally have been using them for so long, and I use them still all the time on my channel. So today, I'm going to show you guys the Ilora London Pro Magnetic Magnetic Eyeliner and a Lash System. So this system allows you to adhere your magnetic lashes without the need or use for eyelash glue. So if you've been wanting to try out magnetic lashes, I definitely recommend these. You can reuse them up to 15 times. They come in so many beautiful different styles, and you don't need to worry about lash glue. So I'm going to show you guys these today in action and we're going to do a really simple look. Simple eyes, glowy skin, and bold lips. So I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely grab a snack and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already for three new videos every single week. And let's get into my current drugstore favorites. Okay, so first thing I've been loving is actually the e.l.f. CBD lip oil. This is like a vanilla mint lip oil, but it feels so nice on the lips, makes your lips super soft and hydrated. And I feel like this is perfect for every day. Like it's a super lightweight lip oil and it's not sticky, but you can see it just makes your lips so nice and juicy. So I really like it. It kind of has like a, like a peppermint sort of vanilla scent, but it's like not too overpowering. And I really like this before makeup because Again, it's like a lip oil, but it's super lightweight on the lips, but like it leaves them super soft. For brows, I'm still loving the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This one is in the shade Black. This is just so good to me, and it's like 10 bucks, gets the job done. I love it for outlining the brows, and the formula now is so much better versus years ago when I first tested it out. I feel like it's a lot creamier now, but it's just a really easy formula to work with. So this is my current favorite, and it's been my current favorite actually for quite some time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and outline my brows with this. For pomade, I have been still also loving the Reina Rebelde, I love saying that, Rebel Eye and Brow Paint. So you can actually get this brand at Target, which I didn't know, you can get it online and then it also is available in stores at some Target. So I actually discovered this brand when I did a full face of Latina owned beauty brands a few months back in the summer and I'm still loving this pomade, it's so good. This one's in the shade Frida and the reason I love it is because the formula is great but I love how dark this is. I feel like especially recently because I just dyed my hair, it's a good color. So I'm gonna use this just to fill in the rest of my brows I also of course still love the elf liner and brow cream in the shade espresso that one's really great as well But I figured I would switch it up because I pretty much honestly only use Pretty much the same brow products like I'll rotate them out But it's always the same and another product that I'm still loving is the NYX full coverage concealer So this is becoming harder and harder to find like this is literally my last tube of this concealer It's just like a little concealer in a jar I used to be able to get this at Walmart or Target But now again even online it's like super hard to find but if you are looking for something like this like to clean up your brows I recommend using a stick foundation You can get the same exact effect because stick foundations are a little bit thicker and more creamy versus like a liquid concealer So that's why I really love like using concealers like this or products like that for the brows because I want something that's a little bit thicker so I can be really precise around the brow area. But today I'm just gonna use this one in the shade beige because it's just what I have and what I'm loving. But again, a stick foundation will work just as good. I really like the ColourPop one and the Makeup Revolution one. I also love this method of cleaning up the brows whenever I need to like desperately pluck and like tweeze my brows because it kind of conceals those little tiny like stray hairs. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna do any eyeshadow today because I just wanna keep the eyes super simple. I might add like a crease color later on once I'm done the look. I'll see how everything looks in the end, but I do wanna shout out two eyeshadow primers that I have been loving that are so good and they're both under $10. So the first one is from Believe Beauty. It's the Lock It In Eyeshadow Primer. I just started testing this out about maybe like almost two weeks or so ago and I really, really like it because it keeps your shadows in place all day, makes them pop, but it also has a light tint so it almost like conceals your lids a little bit so if you have little 
little bit of discoloration or pigment that you want to get rid of on your lids this is a good eye primer it's not going to be like a concealer and completely conceal everything but it does have a light tint to it so this one I have in the color universal and you can get this brand at Dollar General I also love the covergirl lid lock primer so this is just a traditional eye primer it doesn't really conceal your lids or anything but again makes your shadows pop last all day they won't crease and it's amazing so this is another one that I've been using a ton but the thing with this you can only get it either online or at Ulta okay let's get into the lashes now so I'm gonna be using once again the Ilora London pro magnetic magnetic eyeliner and lash system today I think for today since I'm not doing any eyeshadow I'm gonna use the faux mink dramatic lashes so these lashes come in a variety of different styles you can actually get them in three different styles so they come in the wispy volume and accent style so depending on if you want something more natural or a little bit more dramatic these are perfect for you I also wanted to mention there are two new natural fiber styles if you're into like super natural very fluttery lashes definitely check out the wispy lights 117 and the wispy light 007 lashes so if you're a beginner or you're just starting out with lashes I think these are great because they're just gonna give you the perfect kind of just natural lash look so these are super easy to apply you get of course your foaming lashes here and then you also get the magnetic eyeliner I love the liner because it's super black and it does a really good job at just allowing your lashes to adhere really nicely to the liner the lashes do come with magnets on them which is what's gonna adhere to the liner really nicely so I'm gonna start off with the liner first so with this liner you basically just apply it like you would any liquid liner and I don't know if I'm gonna do a wing yet I'm gonna just do a thin line first and then I'll see if I'm feeling it. I can always add it in the end but so with this liner the key is applying one coat letting that dry before applying the next coat so I normally do two to three coats of the liner totally personal preference but again you have to let each coat dry before applying the next so apply one coat let it dry, apply another coat, let that dry, and then apply your third coat. If you do that, you'll be golden and your lashes will last all day. And like I said earlier, you can reuse these lashes up to 15 times, which is amazing. Okay, now we can pop on the lashes. So what I like to do is usually just use my fingers to just place the lash down and then secure it into place by squeezing my real lashes with the falsies together just to secure everything into place, make it last all day. The lashes on here will adhere to the magnetic eyeliner. Again, just as long as you wait for that to dry, you'll be good to go. And that's literally it. I actually wore a pair of these magnetic lashes just a few days ago. I did like a full face of makeup and I know I shouldn't do this, but I ended up having a workout and the lashes lasted through my workout. So lashes are all done and I have to say I think for once my wings are pretty even not perfect but like better than usual so you can see you can get a really pretty lash look in just two steps so definitely check out these lashes I will link them down below if you guys do want to try them out you can get them at your local Ulta Target and then of course you can find them on Ilora London's website so I'll link the details down below definitely check these out if you've been wanting to try out magnetic lashes and you don't want to deal with lash glue so let's move into the skin so I'm gonna be priming and I'm still loving the facial oil mist from elf this is the soothing one I just feel like it gives me the perfect amount of hydration and my skin's been a little bit on the dry side lately so I always like to do this before makeup so I'm gonna just spritz my face mm, I love a good primer and I you know what I really like about it is because it's kind of like I mean it's a facial oil mist so it's kind of like a spray primer oil which I really like because sometimes some primer oils can be a little bit too much on the skin so I feel like the having it in a spray form is like perfect for primer I am loving the hard candy sheer envy stick it to pores mattifying pore primer stick you're probably like girl you're talking about dry skin and you're using mattifying primer but this actually doesn't really mattify my skin to the point where it feels dry I feel like it more so like just smooths everything out makes it super soft and it makes my makeup last all day so I like to just put it on my skin. Obviously make sure your skin is clean and prepped. I already did like my morning skincare and everything. So I feel like this is also a really good dupe for the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I don't know, I feel like Hard Candy has a lot of Milk Makeup Primer dupes, but this is definitely one of them. So I like to just kind of rub that in my face and then really press it in to the skin with my fingers. This is actually per your recommendations when I did like a trying your favorite drugstore makeup and I really really like it so I've been using it ever since that video when I first discovered it okay foundation the flower beauty get real serum foundation has been my go-to this is so pretty this is literally like the epitome of like your skin but better it's very fresh it gives you a natural like radiant finish has really great natural medium coverage even when you build it up I feel like it's not fully full coverage I would say it's just like standard natural medium coverage but it's beautiful I love it 
with a brush and it lasts all day. So especially with this primer, I really like the combo of it. So I'm just gonna apply this with my BH Cosmetics and Nazanin Kavari number two brush. So I'm gonna do about two pumps. Oh, and I didn't even tell you, mine is in the shade Classic Tan. So I'm just gonna apply this. And I really like it because it just, I feel like it just enhances your natural skin, makes it look very healthy, fresh, natural, but it still has coverage. It's not like completely light coverage, which I really like. It really does feel like a, a serum. See how healthy that looks? I love it. So I think for like every day or like simple glam, this is a beautiful foundation. I'm gonna use a little bit more. And I'm still like loving these brushes. I know these technically aren't drugstore, but they are affordable from BH Cosmetics. And they're so good. I don't know if this brush kit, I think it is limited edition, unfortunately, from Nazanin Kavari and BH Cosmetics. But, oh my gosh, it's so good. If you guys have never tried BH Cosmetics brushes, you need to. They are amazing and they have like so many different brush sets at a really great price. So I always recommend those and e.l.f for makeup brushes that are affordable to people who are looking for some good quality brushes. I have some new favorite concealers, which is a big deal because my two holy girls from the drugstore are the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo and the CoverGirl Undercover. So, so good. But I'm gonna switch it up today and I'm not gonna use those because I actually started using the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer again. This was like an old favorite of mine and I like this with the foundation because it has really great medium to buildable coverage. So when you use something that's like medium to full coverage under the eyes, I feel like it just balances everything else out on the face, especially with this foundation that is so lightweight. So I really like this and I also really like the LA Colors Ultimate Cover Concealer. I recently did like a full face of LA Colors and I love this. I discovered it then and I really, really like it. And this one's in the shade Wheat. Let's use Flower Beauty today just because I've been using the LA Colors one in a lot of my videos. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Light and then I'm gonna add a little bit of Light Medium. This is a lot, I know, but I wanna make it look like I got seven, eight hours of sleep last night even though I didn't. I'm also gonna use this to highlight. And they recently added some more shades. Hopefully they will continue to do that as time goes on as well. Using my Haley's Beauty sponge. I actually have a couple Flower Beauty products in today's video. I did a full face of Flower Beauty also a few weeks ago and I discovered some more amazing products from the brand. Also some things that I kind of forgot about. So I'm gonna do a little cream bronzer and blush and going back into the LA Colors Ultimate Cover Concealer, I'm gonna use this one in the shade Truffle to do a little cream bronzer. There aren't a ton of cream bronzers at the drugstore with like a variety of shades. Like I really like the e.l.f. one, but it only comes in like two colors. So if you guys have any favorite like drugstore cream bronzers, let me know, because I feel like they're not super popular. And I'm just using my Rare Beauty brush today just to apply this. This has like a little leftover cream blush on it, but it's fine. I'm going to use cream blush anyway. My Fenty one is extremely dirty, so I had to switch today. So good news is I was able to clean my Fenty brush. It was super dirty. It had like eyeliner in it just now, but that's why I didn't use it for cream blush. But this is my favorite brush for cream products, cream bronzer, cream blush. And I had a little bit left over of my Sonia Kashuk brush spot, spot cleaner that I use for my brushes. So I used that and I cleaned it. So this is the best brush. The Rare Beauty one is nice but the Fenty one is definitely better. I'm going to use this for cream blush today. So I have two cream blushes that I've been loving. One is newer. This one is the older one that I've been using for a few weeks now. This is the Flower Beauty Blush Bomb in the shade Cinnamon. If you're into like a natural cream blush you will love this. This definitely just gives you like that natural flush and these are really easy to work with. Again super super natural on the cheeks. And then I recently discovered the e.l.f. Putty Blushes and wow these are amazing. So these definitely give you a little bit more color to the cheeks. Kind of I feel like these could be actually dupes for the Fenty cream blushes, to be honest. This one's in the color Bahamas, and I love it because it's just a natural, like, peachy color, but it's very wearable, and these are very cushiony, super easy to work with. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. one today. And I'm just going to put this right on my cheeks, kind of rubbing it upwards towards the bronzer. Look at that color. Oh, amazing. I want to buy, like, all of the colors. I ordered this on their website. I'm not sure if they are in store yet but they're like six bucks and they're so good like look at that color i'm in love with it all right so i like a lot and i want to really show you the color but i think you get it 
these are pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set everything. I don't have like a brand new drugstore powder. There actually hasn't been like a new drugstore like setting powder that I've been loving. So I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder in the shade Light. This is a classic favorite. I've literally been using this since the beginning of the year because it's just that good. And today I'm actually gonna use a sponge. This is like the best powder because it just gives you a natural kind of like glow from within. They also have a matte one that I really like. And that one gives you like a soft matte finish, but it's like super smoothing and these powders don't give you any white cast, which I love. So good. And I'm also gonna use a brush. Actually, no, I'll use a sponge. And I'm just gonna put some right underneath this right here. My blush and bronzer, that's what that is. I'm just gonna blend that out with a little brush. I'm gonna go ahead and set my brows because they're looking a little powdery from the powder and I'm using my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Black. This is the best. To set the cream bronzer, I'm gonna go with the LA Colors Bronzer in the shade Natural. This is like the newest drugstore or slash affordable bronzer that I started using and I really like it. Definitely a little bit more on like the ashy side versus what I normally use, but it's like a good formula. So I'm gonna just use this to set that cream. It's a really good one today. I probably use a little too much, but we'll blend it out. And then I'm gonna use that same bronzer down the sides of my nose. And I specifically really like this bronzer for my nose because I feel like it just has the perfect undertone. And then to set the cream blush, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Powder Blush. This is the Flower Pots Blush, and this one is in the color Spiced Petal, which is just like a really pretty natural rose color. It's another product that I used to use all the time before. I don't remember if it was this color, but I don't know why I stopped using these. These are really good. And they're so pigmented, so pretty. Also for blush, I'm still loving the e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duos. Those are still amazing. Spiced Apple, White Peach, My Jam, amazing. But again, I wanted to switch it up today because I've been using those a lot. Those are like three or four bucks and they're really good. I also like the highlighters in those too, but I am loving these Milani Baked Highlighters. These are so beautiful and definitely Ofra Highlighter dupe. So I love the color Champagne Doro in 120. It is just the most beautiful like golden champagne. I feel like perfect for this time of year. So I'm gonna use this just to highlight it has like a really nice smooth finish. It's like not powdery or glittery. I love these. A little bit around the chin. So pretty and like, believe it or not, I'm barely dipping my brush in here. Like this is so intense. And they have other colors as well, like darker shades, which makes me very happy. I'm also gonna put that in the inner corners actually since I'm here. Let's do a little bit on the brow bone too, cause why not? I'm gonna use a little bit of the bronzer I was using and just put some in my crease. Just a little bit. I'm also gonna take that same bronzer and just kind of smudge it on my lower lash line a little bit just to help conceal these fine lines that I have. This is like my little trick that I love to do. And then for eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Milani Stay Put Liner in the shade Semi Sweet. It's just like a nice chocolate brown. These are actually really nice. They have like a bunch of earth tones and they're super creamy on the waterline. So I'm just gonna line my waterline with this. Still loving and using the Essence Lashes of the Day Super Volume Mascara. So I'm just gonna coat my lower lashes with this. For lips today, I'm gonna to do a glossy red lip. I've actually really been loving this combo. I feel like it is the perfect glossy red lip. So I'm gonna go in first with the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner, and this one's in the shade You and Me Ship. Don't laugh at me. I don't know how to really line my lips when it comes to bold lip colors. I'm not that great. Um, but I'm going to go in with the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick. And this one's in the color Spicy. You guys, these are so good. I love the nude shades that they have in these as well. But this red is like the perfect red. 
Love, love, love. I love this on its own. It's super comfortable. Even though it's matte, it just has a really nice finish to it. And like I said, this is literally the perfect red. But I love the NYX Butter Glosses. These are so good. And this has been a staple in my makeup collection for like probably since before I ever started YouTube, like for seven, eight years now, for a long time. I've loved these. They have so many great colors and I love the color red velvet. What I really love about the NYX Butter Glosses is that they give you the perfect gloss finish. They're not goopy or gloppy on the lips and they give you the perfect amount of of pigment. Of course, gonna go ahead and set my makeup and I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. I love this because it not only makes your makeup last, but it gives you just like this really healthy dew to your skin. It's really, really pretty and it smells like coconut. If you guys are familiar with the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Spray, they actually just repackaged it. It's the same exact spray that they've always had. They just switched the bottle and the nozzle and I like this one so much more because it's like a lighter mist. It doesn't shoot out at your face like super aggressively. I never really had an issue with the other one, but I know a lot of people didn't like it, but this one is much better. And we're done. Also, this glossy red lip is giving me all the Gossip Girl vibes. And if you know me, you know that is my favorite show. So I'm loving this. So that is it for my current drugstore favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any other must-haves, hidden gems, products that you're loving from the drugstore that you want me to test out, leave them down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.